Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm your friend Kashi. Welcome to Kashi Digital Headquarter. This is our fourth session of Introduction to Artificial Intelligence AI 101 series. First, a quick disclaimer. In short, words are my own and I'm sharing what I learned. So, today we are going to focus on session number four, which is about LMS tool, text to image. Please check out my session one, two, and three that build the foundation. And last session we talked about text to text LLM tools. In today's episode, we are going to continue our journey to learn about LLM tools. But now the next one is text to image. In the previous one, we talked about when we can give a text and it can have conversational AI. This one, we are going to talk about when we give it a text and we want it to generate an image for us. So let's see first, what are text to image generator or large language model, which is LLMs. Here you see some of those listed on the right hand side. So in summary, text to image generators, LLMs are, they're still same computer program, but instead of having that conversational AI that we saw in the previous episode, they turn your instruction into pictures. It can understand what you're asking and draw those pictures based on the description that you're providing. The, the prompt, the input that you're providing, that actually guided to make a beautiful art or a picture. The benefit of this are you can have really realistic images, you can have some asset that you want for video games, for other medias, and all those. And in this course also, there's some images which I did generate from text to image generator, these LLMs. So you can have these a handy tool to design birthday cards, custom artwork, and all those things. Let's see, are these the only text to image tools there? Actually not, the bunch of them. There are 20 mostly used text to image LLMs that I've listed down there. There are more in the market and day by day, more and more are coming. So how do they work? Similarly, as all the text to text or other LLM works, it works the same way. Now it takes your prompt. So here, here's an example of four different prompt I gave. The so one, first one is the Leonardo AI that was listed on the previous slide. I said, give me a 60 year old man, wise, warrior, gray hair, blue eyes, very short beard. This is not the real person. This is the image generated by Leonardo AI, totally unique, no copyright, new person that does not exist. Same thing. So I also depend what type of model you're using. So that was very realistic if you see. Next one you see, we use the Adobe uh, Firefly text to image generation tool. And here we said, give me a five year old kid, little hair, Blue eyes, 3D Pixar animated style, 8K solid color background. So because we asked for 3D image there, you see this is also a art generated for you. Imagine how can you use this for your own game development and all those kind of stuff. Next one is also generated by Leonardo AI. And you can see the realistic image. There's one more to blue below that we said 30 year old man, Pakistani wearing shawar kameez, uh, wise wa uh, warrior, black hair, brown eyes, add wrinkles to look more realistic, very short beard, realistic style, font face, 8K solid color background. Now, as I talked about in my second session, grounding the prompt. You see how much grounded happened in this prompt? And you can see the image, which is a very realistic image. So these are a few example that text to image tools out would look like. I'm gonna walk you through another detailed example and walk you through some of the tools that I use. And this is what you can use too. The first one I will say, we learned about OpenAI chat GPT. OpenAI, when you signed up in the last session for their chat GPT, they also have a tool called DALI 2. Now they're releasing DALI 3 as well, which has great, great features. All right, you can go to openai.com slash dal e 2 on your device or phone and click on the button, try DALI and use this prompt. You can change this to any city you want. I use the prompt saying a Dallas, Texas landscape at night showing the most iconic landmark. Simple prompt, they create, I'm asking the LLM, text to image LLM, give me a picture where uh, Dallas downtown landscape nighttime look like. And these are the four images it gave me. Not everything is perfect, but you can see how good they are. There is a tower, this globe tower that happened in Texas. Now I've used this, this is from Dali. So I would ask you to take this prompt, try it out on your end. Pause this video and do that and compare the result. Now, second tool I want to show you is a stable 
Fusion Stability AI, Stability AI. Go to their official site, stability.ai. Click drop.stable.co slash stable diffusion. Or you go to Stability AI and click on Try Stable Diffusion. This is the official way to get there. There is also a website called Stable Diffusion Web. Legitimate website with a lot of ads. If you do not have ad blocker, uh, it is using the Stable Diffusion X model. So there's the image generation model there. And it created these four images for me. You can see a little bit how different they are. It didn't have the iconic tower in there, in this one. Same thing, I gave the same prompt to Adobe Firefly. You can go to firefly.adobe.com. It's all free tools I'm walking you through. And we'll see a real demo as well. So go there, click on text to image, click generate. Make sure you, when you do text to image generation, give this prompt. You make sure on the right hand side, you are saying the photo, the content type is photo and lightning low on the right hand side. It has different type of uh, properties that you can set. And this is where Adobe Firefly gave me pictures for Dallas downtown. Pause this video here, go to this URL and try this yourself. Now, a very famous, most used tool, one of my favorites as well is Leonardo.ai. The free tool, it has a lot of things you can do with the free. They have paid account also. Go ahead, create an account, Renato.ai. I would say Google sign in, Apple sign in, Microsoft sign in. It's just faster. And it gave me these two pictures from the Dallas landscape at nighttime. Try this in Leonardo for yourself. Now, one more that we talked about Bing, Microsoft Bing. Bing is invested in my OpenAI. So they are also using behind the scene. And you see if their logo for the image creator powered by DALI. So they are using DALI, but they have the maybe access to DALI 3, bing.com slash images slash create. Go to this site, signing using your Hotmail account, Outlook account, give the same prompt. And you see, these are the pictures generated by Bing image creator. Now, last one I tried is Willow Willow. Another my favorite, if you don't want to do a paid subscription for any tool, go to Willow Willow. It uses Discord. There's a separate software you need to download. A lot of young kids knows about it. Discord tool, it has a mobile app. It has desktop app. Download that tool and you have, I will show you a way how to give the prompt. You have to do slash image in and put the prompt and see what images it gives you. So if I summarize, you can see what happened. We gave the same prompt at Dallas, Texas landscape at nighttime showing the most iconic landmarks. And you can see the differences in each one of them. So far for me, I think DALI 2 is more realistic. It has some iconic towers there. I did like, the, there's no water in there, so I didn't like the Blue Willow one or the other one. The most, uh, I think Microsoft Bing one, that's good too. Stability AI one is good too. So that's how it works. Now, let me show you a real demo of this. So what we are gonna do is, we are going to try all of these six tools real time and show you some output. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this prompt, cinematic images, illustrating people in the 90s by Eccleston, somber and green lightning and storm, dramatic angle AR, ratio 16 by nine. So you can define that I mentioned on the artist style and other grounding there. So let's look into it, how that works. The first one, we are gonna try, do not switch here, and I'm gonna to go to Dali. This is Jali when you go to uh, OpenAI, I'm gonna put this and I say, what happened when you go there? Now so it, it is not gonna generate me anything because it says I do not have any credit left. I had to be credit, but now I, I do not have any credit left. So I'll try if I could, but looks like I cannot uh, do this one. So we'll try the different one and I will show you the Dali two in the different one. So let's go stable diffusion. This is the one that I was telling you about, the stability AI one. I put this image and I say generate. When I say generate, it's gonna now try to generate this uh, images with this prompt and give me the output. While it does that, I'm also going to go, and this is Adobe Firefly. Uh, if you go to firefly.adobe.com, here you will say generate text to image. Click on this one. And here you can put the same prompt here and say generate. The one thing that I was saying, photo, click on the photo here, right? And click on the lightning and I'm gonna say low lighting, 
right? Low writing, and I'm gonna say generate here and see what it does. While it is generating, let's see what uh, this is stability AI created for us. You see how realistic it is. I see a little bit of the face is mud up here. Yeah, the face of the character is not that good, but lightning and all those 90s. This is the back shot and the lightning happening. And you see <laughs> some of the picture, you know, there's a lag missing and all those kind of stuff happening. Let's see what Adobe here. Adobe Firefly did it for us. This image, this one kind of had is there, this one, this one, right? So not that great. But now let's see Leonardo AI. I'm gonna put the same one in Leonardo when you log in. Every tool have some free credit. So here I have only 20 tokens. So the more you use it, the tokens are gone and every day they refresh the token so you can play with it. Leonardo one, if you can see here, I have different models that they have. That Leonardo Diffusion, Realistic and all those absolutely reality. So I'm gonna use this and click generate here and see what it does for me. While and it is doing that for me, I'm gonna go to another tool, which is Microsoft Bing. And here also I have 10 of this. So I'm gonna give the same prompt and say, create for me, right? On this one, and I'm gonna say, uh, create, let's see, I'm gonna use this. Looks like I'm also out of credit probably here. Uh, so it's not letting me create here. Uh, Let's go to another one. This is the one below below. In the below below, this is the Discord channel. This is the Discord web view. If you can see here, I went to one of the their newbie. I think I'm on the newbie 29. I say slash imagine and prompt. And here I put it. I also have free credit here. And if I enter this, it's gonna look for this. And now here it is going to try to do uh, create this for me. Now let's go and see what happened to Leonardo. See, Leonardo is a little bit better. If you look at it, little bit better than, very realistic, right? This is a really good shot from the lightning happening. The, uh, the face is a little bit not good here, right? Uh, this is a little bit better. So that's what Leonardo output is. And with the five, I think here, uh, Microsoft was somehow, if I select this and refresh this one, Let's see, creating, week, continuing with weekly boost. I have 100 credit. Let me put this and say create, not letting me create it. Now if I say surprise me, it's not because I'm probably, thank you for your passion. The team is working, so for, okay. So they have some problem going on. So let's just skip this. They're saying there's some problem going on, so I won't be able to show you this one uh, for the Bing one. Now let's go. This is where we were saying below below. Look at the below below one. How realistic these images are right it doesn't have the lightning and all those a little bit of background but these are the two my favorite leonardo and below below so you can see this one leonardo happened this is adobe firefly this is stability ai and here i was on the dali which i already showed you in there so that's how you can play with it on this tool make sure you have enough credit dali also give you some free credit to play with it and then I also saw one more thing and I'm going to show you just after I show you one more my favorite so those are some free tools if you are looking for the paid tools Midjourney is the number one tool that is used by many many people and they stopped doing their free account they you, they were when they were in beta they are even coming new features you can zoom out zoom in move the pictures and all those we use the same prompt here Look at the pictures that is created for you. Really realistic pictures here for the lightning. They have some $10 plan, $30, $60 plan. I would, so what I would say, let's look into it. So here's the interface for Midjourney. It also a Discord. They are working on their web interface. They will be coming up. So here you can see a lot of people who are generating the different type of graphics with this prompt. You can see the prompt. Look at the quality. Look at the details right of this and then you can upscale each any one of them you can upscale or create different version here i try to put this you see i don't have the free one so it probably will not uh create my uh there because i don't have a free free credit available but you can browse through and see how different people are creating a trident emerging from the water look at the image there right 
look at the quality of the image how beautiful the image is and the quality of the image is you can see that from that perspective look at this neon blue cobalt fantastic look at this right so i would highly recommend if you can do 10 dollar subscription try this or when i was on blue willow and i said instead of trying say join i said try blue willow it actually took me to a different website called LimeWire, and I was not aware of this site. This is just new for me today also, and it is using Blue Willow Model 4, version 4. It has version 3, DALI, which is for the Pro, Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion. It's a bunch of Google image, so if you have the Pro sign up, you can use one website and try a different model. You don't have to go multiple sites. Here, I did the same, same prompt, and it created this image for me. If you can see on the right hand side, I am out of zero L L M W R. There were some free credit that I use. So this is something I have found out today. Thought to share with you guys. Hopefully that will be helpful to you. Now, there's one more thing. Just one more thing that I want to show you, which is if you guys are iPhone users and you have iPhone, download this app, scan this QR code. This app is called Diffusitron. Very fun app really good app highly highly recommended and what you need to do i'm going to show you how it works i'm going to tap onto this and this is where you will get tons of uh, uh different type of images and all those i'm going to use this frog in the cup one and i'm going to say use this and now you notice i can generate a few of the images here but diffusion on history it actually write the prompt that it has cute adorable chibi frog in a tech cup digital art right wr center fantasy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the frog into cat right and see how it works and it does have a negative prompt so you want to say that don't have six fingers don't do this make sure all the features are completed you can talk about that and then because i'm using that image so is that image to image this is the base image that i selected to start with i did that or in painting i can do how how much percentage do i want and then here it has different model. It had anything version four, which is I think if I'm not wrong, mid journey and deliberate dream shaper, open journey, realistic, Reddit, tune, all the different type of LLM model. We talked about LLM. So a different model being trained to generate different type of pictures, right? Anime to cartoonist to realistic. So you can select one of those. So I'm going to probably leave it, uh, which one digital art. So I'm gonna just do, anything v5 probably uh, yeah, v5 and then it has lora optional so lora optional is, and i'm going to say diffuse when i say diffuse it's going to generate this is one of my favorite app for the iphone users create fun fun images you can use the base image to create it or you can just write your own prompt i created so many prompt picture from there put some negative prompt it will help you kind of practice your prompt as well we talked about trying different prom and practicing this, this is going to help you to do this. Usually it is faster. Uh, I don't know, it's taking a little bit more time. Okay, now it did it. You can see it created an image. Instead of frog, it has a cat in there. I still like the frog better, right? So if you see, this is the frog that I have, that I, I, I created. And if I go to the gallery, this is the, the, oh, that was the cat and this is the frog. So that's how it is. Very fun app, highly, highly recommended for you guys to use it, uh, to, to try and use this app, All right? That will be fun. That will be my bonus tip from today. Next, now we learned about this. What are the benefit of this? Why did we learn about text to image tool? Okay, this is good, cool, but now what, how can you make best use of it? If you're a graphic designer, imagine how fast you can do your kind of kick, kick start your project, do designing, if you are a writer, you need illustration. You can write the prompt and create the conceptual art to work with the designer. If you are a teacher, right, you can create different diagram, different uh, illustration. You need, but just based on prompt. If you are engineer, right, you can create different functional product description and how it look like. Same with marketer, any marketing collateral that you need to do, social media campaign, you can just describe it and it will create for you. You will be surprised. Any architect for building design, give them the idea, give the description, it will create that for you. Same thing for the artist, right? You are 
imagining you imagine what you want to do you describe it and it will create a sketch or the uh, picture for you for that object entrepreneur startup businesses you need your own logo your website images your slide images all that you can do and i have if you search any ai chat gpt anything give me a list of top text to image tool it will give you tons of tools if you search for give me top text to image llm it will give you some of text to image llm i talked about in the last session that hugging face community go there sign up this lot of open source model that you can download on yourself and train on your data and play with it so there's a lot of opportunities for using and benefit for these tool along with that the few thing we should be concerned about too which is all of this image tool they might be output might be bias stereotyping some people or race or gender so just be caution about it don't rely 100% there it as we talked about hallucination it might be falsehood some misleading information you can't trust the i showed you the image it's not a real person you cannot trust that information is a real person uh, it could be some time can, people can create disturbing images you know it might be disturbing and not good from that perspective intellectual property right you create the images from the prop it might infer into the infringement into the intellectual property but or trademark if ai end up creating exactly the same you can say it's unique but it might does that from job disruption yep there a lot of thing will be automated there a lot of ui based tool where people can just describe something and do this some of the design illustration job may be impacted or maybe enhanced privacy so if you give your image and it's on the internet anybody can use that image create your own look alike pictures also use at the image to image base for that one right and that's not good that's violating your privacy right ethics is there the big question on ethical use of the ai that everybody should be using for ethical use and not for any wrong purposes there's a big discussion going on that everything needs to be ethical so, societal risk right that we all get a lot of kids are using gpt for their own essay assignment and also but we need to use those tools as our add on as our friends as i said buddy that you are utilizing to make it effective right so these are the few things i would say keep in mind right educate other people as well don't trust what you see right from there now there are some laws and some conversations are happening where all the ai generated images will have the i mean the stamp or something like adobe firefly does that this image was created by ai not by the designer all right with that how do you what's the next step i would like you to recommend you guys take i have listed down the free tools here try this tool if you want paid tool i would suggest you take mid journey or leonardo ai subscription there are a lot of other paid tool as well choose one that you like and play with the free tools now there are few resources i want to share with you really good blog on this topic also there's a really five resources it has some ebooks and also i bookmark um, that one myself you should download and look at i created a short link you can go there uh, there's a great video that talks about five alternatives to mid journey it talks about some of these email tool that i talked about check that out and also keep looking at deep learning.ai people who are technical want to go deeper this is a really good short course there on that website with that what are you going to learn next week because this concludes our today's session and next week we are going to extend into now another type of llm which is image to text so we saw so far text to text conversation then we saw today text to image i'm describing something getting the image back now how about i take that image and give it to the ai and create a video this is my own image we create a unique avatar astronaut playing guitar amidst the backdrop of a black hole in space that astronaut in the video. has a glass is not round and he has a light beautiful lightning brown skin if you can hear the sound or not I'll make sure that this in the post edit is edited so you light can see it bobu beard so we are going to use the tool d-id you can take your own picture animated or any actor animated you can write what you want the person or your picture or actor to speak or talk in different languages on top of that or you can upload your own recorded voice and have any picture like uh talk about it or clone your voice this will be really really fun you are going to enjoy the rest of the session all the other series this conclude our session but before you leave i have one simple ask as usual first of all thank you for listening to me i hope you learned something and you'll put it to good use if you enjoyed learning what i had to share please give me a follow like subscribe or 
any social media platform of your choice, share this handle, subscribe to the handle Kashi DHQ. Visit my website kashiamma.com, enter your email for the sign up. You will get the notification for the next blog, next update, and when next session is coming. Stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Allah Hafiz. <laughs>